What's up, folks? It is Sunday, November 17th, 2019. I'm The Funk, and I'm back with my weekly show, G Funk Rant. Got a lot of stuff to talk about. And, uh, first, I don't know if anyone looked at my page on, on Facebook. Um, one of my followers, Robert uh, Wolvogel, who's one of uh, a, fellow, a fellow Monroanian <laughs> where I used to live. So, well, my parents still live there, but I, you know. I consider myself still Maronian because even though I've only lived, even though I've lived in Chester now for a few years, but whatever. But I grew up there, whatever, everything. Um, he said I didn't know anything about football. So we had a little wager. A little wager was who gets the most picks right from week 10. It was close going into Monday night. Um, we both were tied going into Monday night. He had San Fran, and I had Seattle. Seattle won. It was close. He ended up going four and eight. I ended up going five and seven. So... It wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but the loser would, you know, if I would have lost, I would have came on here and have to say, Robert Vogel knows more about football than me. But since I won, I get to, put, I get to show you this horrifying, embarrassing picture of him. And here it is. I had to black out the one spot because we don't want to see uh, what, what I'm about to show you. I don't know if I can get it. There you go. There he is, right there, holding his schlonger. I don't know who took that picture, but <clears throat> it's pretty horrifying. <laughs> but Rob, you, you're a man of your word. You, you paid up for the bet, so you know I admire you for that. You know you didn't you didn't back down. So God bless you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope this I hope this picture doesn't really embarrass you to uh, embarrass you and your family or anyone that much. But like I said, who knows? But anyway, that was the bet we had. So um, I went like I said overall I went five and seven last week. I didn't do too great. Um, I'll do my week eleven picks later. A lot of stuff to talk about. Miles, everyone saw the, the Thursday night game between the Steelers and the Browns. Miles Garrett, okay? Uh, he's done some shit like this before. The fact that he, they suspended him right away the rest of the season and probably most into the next year. I'm pretty sure he's going to lose the whole season. He's probably going to get suspended the rest of this year and most likely he's going to um, probably lose 10 games next year. But uh, it's the end of the game. Why are you even like, going out the game? Just you know, tackle him to the ground. He like body him to the ground. I understand why he got pissed off was freaking, I don't know what Mason Rudolph was trying to do. He was trying to take off his helmet while he was laying on top of him. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Just tell him to get off you or push him off. Like, what are you trying to gra grab his helmet for? And when he gets up finally, he takes freaking his helmet off, takes Mason Rudolph's helmet off, and hits him with it. Dude, no, you can't do that. This isn't WWE. This isn't AEW. You can't do shit like that. So uh, the NFL was smart right away. They freaking spent him right away, like I said. Mason Rudolph, I think, is going to get a fine. He might get suspended. I, I don't know. Uh, Pouncy, I don't know if anyone saw Pouncy in that thing. He was fucking people up, punching. He was kicked. He was going nuts protecting his quarterback, which is good. Like he'll probably get, he'll probably get suspended or fined too for throwing punches and kicking people, whatever. But um, you know, you got to stick a free quarterback, and you know that's what he did. But um, it was just very, you know, the NFL is. We got enough problems in the NFL, and then yesterday the whole Colin Kaepernick tryouts, whatever. You know, he says he's ready. He's been ready for three years. He's ready to go wherever they needed. So uh, we'll see where he goes. Um, I really don't know where he could go. A lot of teams really might need a backup quarterback, but I don't know like, who, if he's going to – like, is he, is he going to want to start right away? I don't know. I, I don't think he – like he might. But like I said, what team really needs a starting quarterback? There are a couple, but it all depends on, you know, where they are. You know, where they, you, like, are you like 2-12 and 12, or are you like, you know, 7-2? and two? Like, you know, you could have a – a horrible, like, you want to be on a team with a good record, of course, or who's going to need you. Like, he's going to want to make the playoffs here. You know, he, he was in a Super Bowl already, you know, but, um, or didn't win that Super Bowl, but, you know, uh, I think Kaepernick will get signed by a team uh, who I, I really don't know. A lot of teams looked at him. There's a couple teams that didn't go to the tryouts. Um, Cowboys were one of them. Uh, I don't know if the Giants went. Uh, the Giants already got, we got Daniel Jones. We got Eli as backup, even though Eli's probably going to be gone after this year anyway. He's probably going to retire. Uh, he might go to another team. I don't know, but, um, we'll see where he lands. I really don't know where he's going to go, but I'm pretty sure a team's going to pick him up because there's a lot of teams out there that could use a back. If not a starting quarterback, can use definitely need a backup quarterback. Um, wrestling this week uh, was okay. Um, it was uh, Raw was uh, was so so. Uh, NXT and AEW were really good. Um, I thought. I see. I was watching. You know, I watched NXT first, and I went back and watched AEW. Um, 
I thought AEW's main event was a little more intriguing than NXT's. NXT's was good, though. It was a little max quality. was a lot better. Um, you know, because they're building up to, you know, Survivor Series. Uh, and the NXT's going to have their own team. It's going to be three teams going against each other this year. It's going to be Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Uh, I don't know who's going to be on what teams yet. They're still... We know who's going to be on the SmackDown and Raw teams already. We just don't know who's going to be NXT teams yet. So... Because they have war games the night before. So I don't know if, like, if anyone gets hurt, who they're going to... Like, I think they're going to see how that goes. Like, they're going to announce the team, but hopefully no one gets hurt on war games the night before. So we'll see what happens. SmackDown, Friday night was kind of lame. I, honestly, the whole Roman Reigns thing with the, with Baron Corbin having the guy dressed up in, the, in a dog outfit it was just stupid. Like, and Fox is complaining about the ratings because they're bad. And, like, this, the storylines are stupid. Like, they're really slowly... Gonna lose to AEW, I think. If they don't start doing shit, and the biggest news out of WWE is they have their backstage show with with um with uh, uh, Renee Young, Paige, Booker T. Um, but let, this past Tuesday, he's back, not working for WWE. He's working for Fox, and that's CM Punk. It was great to see him back. Um, you know, the question is, is he gonna come back and wrestle? That's the big question. Um, should he? If he's in good shape and he wants to, yeah. Because I think I do believe his his um, contract with uh, MMA or wherever he was fighting is over, is done with. So I think he should come to uh, you know, come back to wrestling, whatever. And you know, there's a lot of guys I like to see him wrestle. You know, and I think there's a lot of people out there, wrestling fans, old school wrestling fans like myself, who grew up watching CM Punk, would love to see him come back and wrestle some some of the great talent we got now, and you know, make some good storylines. Because I think CM Punk will bring back viewers. As much I was a big fan of him, like I thought he was good. You know, he had good promos, and his matches were always good. Um, but he's a, he's a big name, and he's a name that you know resonates with a lot of the old school guys and the, a little bit of the you know, not so much the newer generation of, of, of wrestling fans. But um, I, I think if he comes back and, and wrestles and gets in some matches with some, I would like to see him fight Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, uh, so maybe some NXT guys. Like, there's a list of guys he could fight that I think everyone would enjoy watching. Um, and he always puts, he, he tells good stories, uh, CM Punk, either if it's in the ring or on the mic. So I think that him coming, granted he's not something, he's working for Fox, but W gave the blessing for him to be on the show. So that's always, a, that's always good. So that means Vince is maybe coming around because Vince right now, you need fucking ratings, man. So I would tell you right now, you better get him back in that WWE ring. I don't care how you do it. Sign him, get him back. Because you know, as much as you want to see him come back on Tuesday nights and talk wrestling with you know with Renee and Booker T and Paige and the other uh, guy, I, I don't want to see him talk. I want to see him wrestle. He's still he's I think he's forty so he's in his forties. I think he's around the same age as me. He might be. I think he's 44, 45. He's definitely in his forties. He's around my age, maybe a year or two older or so. But um, you know, look at Jericho still wrestling. He's in his late forties. AJ's forty something. You know, there's a lot of guys still wrestling in their forties, which you know. Uh, nowadays is, is seems you know Brick Flair wrestled to was like fucking sixty something for Christ's sake even though he shouldn't have been but that's all another story. Um, NBA, the Knicks, the Knicks cannot w get a for winning streak to save their lives. They won against Dallas the other night, and I'll tell you right now, I, as much as I don't like, I, I watch the game a little bit, it flipped back and forth. Cause I, said, I can't watch the NBA. I really can't just because the Knicks are so bad. Um, but the beating up on KP and the Dallas Mavericks today was definitely. Enjoyable. The whole Garden Chant, KP sucks, was awesome. I loved it. It was great. You know, bravo to the freaking Knicks fans at the Garden that night. Thank you. But then you're thinking, all right, we're playing Charlotte on Saturday night, which was last night. Thinking, you know, we can get a, get a little wing streak game. We're three and nine. Let's try to get some momentum here going. And I'm pretty sure Fizdale's begging these guys to play harder because he's going to lose his job. I'm pretty sure he's going to get fired before the season's over. If he doesn't, I'll be stunned. Um, but last night, they lost on a three pointer and lost by one point. Um, the whole thing was, you don't have your top star out there, which is R.J. Barrett, in on that play, because he could have freaking done something. Maybe, you know, you got to foul him right away. You don't want him to take the shot. You got to foul him. Make him beat you at the foul line. Because no one can make foul shots anymore. Nobody makes foul shots. I'm telling you, R.J. Barrett's terrible at foul shots. He is fucking god awful. You got you to make foul shots. They're gimme buckets. You have to make foul. Like, when I was growing up, we would, my dad made me practice foul shots until my freaking. Fingers were falling off. He's like, you get to the you get to the line, those are easy buckets. There's easy baskets, so easy points. 
And it is. It's the truth. You got to make your foul shots. You're a fucking NBA basketball player. That is your job. You should no NBA player should miss. You know, whatever. If you're having a bad night, you're tired, you're hurt, whatever. Fine. You miss a bu- you miss a couple free throws. That's understandable. But when you're a regular NBA player, a star no less, you cannot miss free throws. I'm sorry. It's just it, you can't. It, it's unacceptable. And um, so foul the guy because everyone like I said, everyone's missing shots. The foul like, foul him. Don't let him fucking shoot the three. You gotta foul him before he even comes close. When he gets as soon as he crosses the court, foul him. Don't even let him get close to the three point line. Fisdale sucks. He's a horrible coach. Uh, they shouldn't even have him. Like they, they brought him here to bring free agents in. We got none. So fuck him. Get rid of him. I don't give a Perry Mills has been here too long. Mills, I'm sorry. Mills is Dolan's boy. Everybody, every Nick fan out there, he's not going anywhere. Okay, as long as Dolan's still owner of the team and owns the Knicks, Mills is gonna be there until. Someone, I don't know, no going to be the one to fire him. There's no one else who's going to fire him. I, I don't see, unless a lot of executives, whatever, getting freaking, getting, uh, you know, Steve, you know, getting Dolan's ears. Man, he's not helping us. we got to get rid of him because Perry's not doing shit. You know, uh, it, the Knicks are terrible, okay? I, I, like I said, NBA to me, not bothering anymore. Look, and whoa, what a shocking record that the freaking, what, the Lakers are 10-2. and two. Oh, one, because you got LeBron James and fucking Anthony Davis. They're both, Anthony Davis is like seven foot tall, and LeBron's like 6'9", or whatever. And they have, they have decent bench players. So the Lakers, I don't think, you know, there's a lot of good tandems out there. You got LeBron and, and um, Anthony Davis. You got, in Houston, you got, which I thought was a weird pairing, Westbrook and Harden. Then you got... On the Clippers, you got Kawhi and you got Paul George. There's a lot of good guys. Got, the West has too many tandems, too many good superstar tandems. The East has like maybe one or two, but they're not even that noticeable. You know, the Knicks don't have anybody. We have no stars. RJ Barrett, could he be a star? Yeah, but it's his rookie season. We don't know what he's going to be like. He's playing well. He can't make foul shots for shit, but that, that's a whole other story. But um, I just think uh, oh, and MLB found the East Houston assholes are cheating. Guess what? If they don't suspend A.J. Hinch or find any of these motherfuckers who are involved, Carlos Beltran, who just got hired by the Mets, supposedly one of the ringleaders, him and Cora, and Cora's managing the Red Sox, I would love to see those two guys fucking suspended the whole year. Not Beltran. Hinch and Cora. I don't give a shit about Beltran because he's in the National League. But in the American League, because the Yankees got to face Houston and freaking the Red Sox. Especially the Red Sox 19 times a year. You don't got Cora? I fucking hate Alex Cora, okay? I never liked him as a player. He's such a little douchebag that... I hope he gets suspended the whole year. I hope, I'm praying to God that he gets suspended the whole year. Him and Hinch. Because the Astros, the Houston assholes, as I call them, you know, the cheaters, like, oh, like, I never, I never was saying maybe they were cheating during the thing. Because what's his face was sitting on that freaking breaking slider to, uh, to freaking, um, Chapman in, in, in that game where he hit the walk off home run, uh, Althuve. Did we hear any, did we hear any tapping or banging of the drum, whatever the fuck it was that they're doing? Cheaters. They got a camera in center field. They are cheaters. Fuck them. Fuck the Astros. I hope they never win again. I hope they all get... I hope there's, there's fine suspensions. I hope they get what they deserve. Because there's no place for that in baseball. None. Baseball's the only somewhat pure sport we have left. Well, not really since the fucking whole steroid era that happened so long ago. You're angry this morning, Funk. Yeah, I'm, I'm angry. I've had a lot of shit going on this weekend besides freaking sports fucking upset. Like I said, there's nothing. I'm praying to, I'm praying that I get this new job that I just I applied for one for an interview today. It went really well. I'm praying they call me back this week. So my job right now I'm at is fucking terrible. I, I can't deal with them anymore. My manager drives me nuts. So that's a whole other story. But, um, you know, the New York sports has just been so bad. You know, we haven't. And I don't even like hockey. But the Islanders, holy shit. Unbelievable! They're playing their balls off. I never and like I said, I didn't. I didn't grow up watching hockey. I wasn't a hockey guy. I tried playing ice hockey when I was a kid. I can't skate for shit. Okay, I got two freaking bum ankles. One re- I remember the first time when I was skating. No, I'm sorry, the second time when I was skating, I broke my ankle. I said, I'm never fucking ice skating again. I'm done. I'm done. And I, ne- I never did. I will never. I see. I've been rollerblading. I've been roller skating. That's the wheel's a little more safe than a little blade that's gonna hold your my fat ass up. Two blades are not gonna hold me up, and your back. I have decent balance when I you know roller skating because you got four wheels. Roller blades too. You got four wheels. So you know I didn't mind roller blading, roller skating. I was a little bit more comfortable with that, but I could not ice skate for shit. I'm ter- and falling on the ice. I'm sorry, it hurts. It fucking hurts. So you know I was never a big uh, hockey guy. You know I, I was 
I was excited in 94 when the Rangers made Stanley Cup. I had a lot of close friends who were big Ranger fans, so I got to watch and enjoy with them. And I was happy when they won the Cup, whatever. It was great. The New York team won a, you know, won a championship. But lately, look what our teams are, man. They all suck. Who's good besides the Islanders? The Rangers are doing okay. They're not great yet, but they're getting there. The Giants suck. The Jets suck. The Knicks suck. The Nets are all... They're not, they're not great either. The Yankees... The Mets are the Mets. The Mets and Yankees are slowly getting back, you know, slowly working their way up. But you know, uh, the Yankees need to get back to the World Series or the Mets. Someone, some, some other team has got to win us a championship because there's been too much Boston, Chicago, Washington. Like I don't want to see any more fucking, especially Boston. I don't see Boston with shit. With the fucking Patriots in the Super Bowl every fucking year, it's annoying. You ever think of getting your real estate license? I think you'd be very successful. Hmm. I don't know. I. I can I be a can I be a real estate agent? I don't I don't know. Like I, it's a possibility, but I don't I don't think I can be successful because I I get excited about stuff and when I get excited or upset about something, I curse. So I don't think people will like that about me. Like I try not to, you know. Like with well, my job, of course, you can't any job. I don't want to curse at your job or on your um, well, you're on the job, of course. But um, you know. But like I said I I don't know. I just think it wouldn't. I don't know. I, I, maybe I could do it. I don't know. That's really that's a good that's a good question. It's, it's, it's something I might look into, Laura. But thanks. And, and the fact that you're my top, one of my top fans is awesome. I just it takes this top fan above it. That's awesome. Um, but uh, what else? A lot of stuff going on. Like I said, um, Thanksgiving's a couple weeks away. Uh, a week what, less than we're less than yeah. It's the twenty eighth this year. It's later this year. It's not. It's always the last Thursday of November, which is the twenty eighth this year. And Christmas will be here before you know it. Everything is like this. This whole year is like flu. Like I said, it's it's almost Thanksgiving. It seems like yesterday I woke up and it was like New Year's, and now it's you know this year's just flown by. A lot of stuff's going on. Um, but uh, <laughs> yep, top fan, Mike Palmer. What's up, Palms? What's up, brother? How's it going? Shout out to him watching. Anyone watching right now? Any comments or questions? You want to add? I'm gonna do my pick soon. No emails. Everyone's gotta send emails. I don't know what's. I don't, I don't know if there's anything wrong with my email. I've checked it. Seem, everything seems fine. I'm getting regular emails. I'm just not getting any emails from any of my viewers. So, because um, if you guys emails, the show goes longer, moves smoother. Um, so, uh, like I said, emails definitely help the show go a little bit longer and make my uh, banter a little bit better. But anyone on here? What's up, Mike? Mike Seth throws the peace sign up. But um. Where is John Wynn? Good question. I, I I don't know. He might be at church. I don't. I think he goes to church. I don't know. Either that or he's working. I don't, I have no idea. Um, rant, Jerry, rant. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Um, but otherwise, all the stuff that's been going on this week with sports and movies and TV. I don't know if anyone watches. I, I'm a big CW guy. I love The Flash, Arrow, Batwoman, Supergirl. I'm okay with. I watch. I don't watch it as much as I used to. Um, uh, Legends of Tomorrow. There's a lot of great CW superhero shows. They're doing Crisis, uh, Infinite Earth, Infinite Crisis, Earth, Earth, whatever it is. I forgot the title of it, but um, something like that. It starts December 8th, and it's going to go over like three episodes. It's going to go over Batwoman, um, Legends of Tomorrow, Flash, and Arrow. And this is last year of Arrow, so I'm really bummed because I think that show's been great. Stephen Amell's been an awesome Green Arrow. Um, you know, uh, it's just sad that's coming to an end. But the Crisis Infinite Earth is going to be really, really good. They're having Superman from other genres. They're having Brandon Routh coming back as one of the Supermans when he was in Super, uh, Superman Returns. They're having Tom Welling come back from Smallville as Superman. Um, Tyler Hawkins going to be there. He's playing the Superman now in the CW uh, universe. So um, they're having all sorts of people come back. It's going to be really, really awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to kind of be like... Uh, the DC's a, DC's a version of Avengers, kind of, minus a few big characters, but um, <clears throat> I think it should be really good. I don't know if you want to watch Titans on DC, but it's awesome, too. Um, Robin turned into Nightwing is pretty cool. <clears throat> and I haven't, everyone's saying, oh, we got to get Disney Plus, you got to get Disney Plus. I'm looking into getting Disney Plus. Um, my wife says, I think we should get it, but I'm like, my daughter's not really into that much Disney stuff anymore. Just a few things here and there, so I'm not really looking. But I always want to get it because there's Star Wars, you got Marvel on it. What's going on in wrestling this week? I did my wrestling little review before, but um, nothing great. Uh, it's, I'm, it's I, I just think they're slowly... The shows itself haven't been... The matches have been great. The storylines have been kind of eh. Because it's still everyone like SmackDown roster is trying to go to Vade. Raw, Raw is going to Vade. 
NXT or vice versa, or there's a mixture of them up until Survivor Series. With the three, there's going to be three teams this year. There used to be only two on two. It used to be just SmackDown versus Raw. Now that NXT's got so much popularity and so much big hype, it's going to be NXT versus SmackDown versus Raw. I don't know. The teams, the, the SmackDown team's probably the shittiest, I think. The Raw team looks the strongest. And I don't, the NXT hasn't really announced their team yet. They have, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, because they have war games the night before. So <clears throat> it depends on who, if anyone gets hurt during those matches, if those guys are going to show up on Survivor Series to actually wrestle. Because you reckon back to back nights, and the matches are going to be super long. It's not like they're going to be, you know, you know, uh, anything. What the hell is happening here? But, um, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but wrestling has been okay. AEW was a little bit better this week, I thought. Um, just because the the store, the little store thing, John Moxley, aka Dean Ambrose, has been awesome on AEW. Um, he's put out, he put on a great match on the the oh the top gear was it the pay per view? I didn't get to watch it. I watched some of the matches on YouTube. Um, the John Moxley oh, Kenny Omega match was sick. That was probably to me the best match of the night. The Jericho Cody Rhodes championship match was okay. I thought it was kind of eh. It could have ended a little bit differently, but whatever. Um, but Cody Rhodes is not going to get on the title shot. Jericho is going to be champion for a little while longer, I think. But they got to give it to somebody else eventually. As much as everyone loves Jericho, but um, and CM Punk coming back. Granted, he's not official with WWE. He's on the Fox show that WWE approved for CM Punk to come back on. I want to see CM Punk back in the ring. I don't want to see him talking about wrestling. I want to see him get back in the ring and wrestle because um, I think that would help WWE right now ratings. Because if you run back to either show, the SmackDown or Raw, the ratings go through the roof. Now she was going to come out and challenge somebody. And supposedly, I think this week, I think Raw is in Chicago, which is Punk's hometown. That would be interesting to see if he comes back then. But I don't think it's going to happen. Because I think, supposedly he's not signed. He supposedly signed the contract with Fox, not WWE. So, but WWE gave the blessing to Fox to sign CM Punk. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what goes on with that. I'm going to do my NFL Week 11 picks. And last week I went 5-7, and seven, which wasn't a great week. Uh, overall, my record is, hold on, I didn't do my updated. I am... Uh, 77 and 77 and 56 right now. Yeah, 77 and 56. So not bad. But I'll do my week 11 picks. Um, like I said, I didn't do. I don't do the week. I don't do the 11 the, um, Thursday night game. But um, first match we got Jets at the Redskins. The Jets beat the Giants last week. I'm so glad the Giants are to buy this week because I, I really can't watch them anymore. Pat Shermer has to go. He sucks. But um, first match of Jets against the Redskins. The Redskins are coming off a bye. They suck. And the Jets suck. But the Jets are playing a little bit better. I think the Jets beat the Redskins this week. So I'm picking the Jets over the Redskins. Next match is up the Jags versus the Colts. Nick Foles is coming back. So is Jacoby Brissett on the Colts. Colts are missing T.Y. Hilton. Jags defense has been playing pretty tough. I'm picking the Jags over the Colts. Next match is the Bills and the Dolphins. The Dolphins are playing a lot better. Um, Fitzpatrick or Fitzmagic is what I'm going to call him. I think he's doing pretty good. Uh, I, th but I'm the Bills. Uh, Josh Allen been playing pretty well, but they're at home. The Dolphins are home. I'm taking the Dolphins at home over the Bills. Next matchup: Cowboys and the Lions. Don't think Matthew Stafford's playing again this week. I don't think he is. And the Cowboys, I think, are due for uh, a little bit of a run here. So I'm taking the Cowboys over the Lions. Next matchup: We got the Texans at the Ravens. Two matchups of bat of. Uh, Heisman Trophy winners, winner and the runner-up between Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson. This will be a good game. The Ravens are home. They're having a ridiculous. The defense stout. I think they're going to give. I think they're going to give Deshaun Watson a little bit of a problem. So I'm picking the Ravens over the Texans. Falcons at the Panthers. Um, Falcons upset the Saints last week, but I don't think they're going to be able to beat the Panthers. The Panthers, uh, you know, their run defense hasn't been that good, so McCaffrey's probably going to run all over them. Um, and the Falcons, uh, you know, I said I think the Matt Ryan's, you know, he, he's not very good outdoors. So I'm picking the Panthers over the Falcons. Next matchup: the Saints, the Bucks. Uh, the Bucks have been playing all right. They're not great. The Saints losing last week to the Falcons was shocking, but I think Drew Brees is bouncing back, bro. You know, granted, the, you know, and Winston, he is, he's such, he has one good game and then he can have another sucky game. Like he's very inconsistent. So I'm taking the Saints over the Bucks. Next matchup: we got the Broncos at the Vikings. Interesting matchup. The Broncos have been be very bad. The Vikings have been very good. I'm taking the Vikings over the Broncos. The Vikings are at home. Can't go wrong. Next matchup, the Cardinals the 49ers. This is a tough call. <clears throat> the 49ers are missing a lot of guys, but their defense, they're not missing really anyone on defense. 
So I think their defense keeps them in the game. The Cardinals have been very good offensively. Defensively, not so much. Um, I think Garoppolo gets a nice little drive towards the end and gives them a nice win. So I'm picking 49ers over the Cardinals. Next match is the Patriots, the Patriots at the Eagles. As much as I hate the Eagles, and I hate, I hate both these teams. Like, this is the Super Bowl a couple years, so I, can, I didn't want to watch it because I hated both teams. But they're both coming off buys. You can't get freaking, you can't give Belichick and Brady that much time to prepare for, for a game. So I'm picking the Pats over the Eagles. Uh, Bengals at the Raiders. The Bengals suck. I don't see them winning a game this year. I'm taking the Raiders. Um, next matchup, Bears at the Rams. This is a toss up. Both teams have been playing very mediocre this year. Um, I don't know Mitchell Trubisky. Actually, the Giants play the Bears next week in, in Chicago. So hopefully they can beat them. We'll see if they, you know, if the, actually, I, I'm picking the Rams because they're home, but I'm really hoping the Bears win. So if they win, at least they can lose next week at home against the Giants. It's, I don't think so, but I'm taking the Rams over the Bears this week. And the Monday Night Football game, we got the Chiefs at the Chargers. Um, the Chargers are playing okay, but, you know, <sighs> Philip Rivers, man, he either plays really good or he sucks. The Grand at their home. We got Patrick Mahomes, Kareem Hunt's co- uh, not Kareem Hunt. I'm sorry. Um, Chiefs. Not sure if uh, Williams is playing yet. I think he will be. Probably with the game time decision. But um, I'm taking the Chiefs over the Chargers, and that's my Week 11 picks. We'll see what happens. But folks, anyone got any more questions on here? Comments, questions, emails at JerryGman2376 at Yahoo.com and at JerryGman2376 at Gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at GFunk underscore Rants. Follow me at Twitter s underscore GFunk. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chief Funk Rants, folks. I'm going to call in, want to call in right now, 845-825-1227. I'll take a couple phone calls before I go, if anyone wants to call or ask any questions here live. But, um, like I said, a lot of stuff. Looking forward to uh, my fantasy teams. I got two fantasy teams that have been okay, and my one fantasy team's kind of sucking. So, just hoping my two fantasy teams are going to keep me in the hunt for the playoffs and have a shot at winning some money. So, cross my fingers there. In my other league, I'm, I need a miracle. So, with only a couple weeks left. Before playoffs starts, so I'm like, I'm pretty much screwed in that league. So, <clears throat> unless the team in front of me really sucks the next couple weeks, then I have a shot, but I have to win out, which is probably not going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Ugh. But, um, but, I want to call in 845-825-1227. Otherwise, um, I'll be talking, you know, I don't know if so my, the, 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 you know, the chicken sandwich video I did the other day. About the Popeyes thing, I got one thing. Shout out to Frank Grillo who sent me a mess, sent, posted a thing on Facebook, and uh, longtime friend who we used to go to high school with. Frank said he had the Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich. The new season, like, it's good. I he didn't. I don't think he tried the regular classic one, not the non spicy one. I don't know if he tried that one, but he said the spicy one's really good. But still, people are getting fighting over them. Like a woman got killed over this. Like it's a fucking chicken sandwich, people. Like I said, if the rapper had a golden ticket where you win a million dollars, okay, I can see people trying to beat the shit out of each other for that. There's no gold ticket, and it's not like this. I'm like, are you gonna eat this chicken sandwich? Are you gonna? If you're like, are you gonna cure? Is it gonna help cure cancer if you eat this? Like, come on, people. Uh, uh, it's a chicken sandwich, okay? This chicken sandwich is a little worse, but from what Frank said, shout out to Frank. That's the spicy one's pretty good, and now I want to try it. Granted, there's no Popeyes near me. I don't even know where the nearest Popeyes is. Honestly, I think it's in Jersey. I don't think there's one. In, was there one in Middletown? I don't even know, because I know there's none... Wait. I'm trying to think where the nearest Popeyes is around here. There is one. I don't even know, honestly. I thought there was one, but I think they closed down. Oh, there was one in Monroe, I think, but they closed down, I do believe ago. I think it was by the Walmart Plaza there. Um, I think it was where KFC is now, I think, but I'm not sure. All right, folks, I'm going to wrap it up. Like I said, questions, comments, emails, jerrygman2376 at yahoo.com and at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter, S underscore G Funk. Follow me on Instagram, G Funk underscore Rants. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, G Funk Rants. I'll be back next week, same time, same place, 10 a.m., Sunday morning. Join the funk. Like I said, questions, comments, emails would really be appreciated, folks. More to talk about, keep the show going a little bit longer. And if you want to call in, 845 825 1227. But till next time, folks, I will talk to you next week. Have a good week. I got to go. I'll see you when I see you.